are out here at the trailer. Uh, I have had nothing but a huge pain in the butt with this toy hauler fill, the fuel fill down here. Um, we have a single 30 gallon tank and what it does, obviously for the fuel station, um, but it also feeds the generator. Um, we don't have the two separate tanks, which is fine. I don't mind that so much um, other than the capacity, but we have, let's see, let's change that. There we go. Sorry. So we have just a 130. I mean, it'd be nice to have the, the capacity of 230s, but I mean, that's a lot of weight and we don't use it that much. Anyway, I have had nothing but a problem paying the butt filling this thing. I think it filled fine once the first time. And then um, after that, it would you just have to kind of just watch it tickle, you know, trickle in like penny by penny by penny. It took forever. I think the one time I actually filled it after that was 20 minutes, 25 minutes, something like that. Just kind of watch because like, we need it. We were boondocking and I knew I needed it. So I sit and dealt with it, but I'm going to fix it. Um, first thing I did was I pulled this. I'm going to switch it around here in a second if I can. No. So what I did, first of all, the other, you know, a week or two ago, I took these four screws out. There's a couple more inside and took that off or loosened it up and then under here sorry i'm laying on my back loosen this up this clamp and then this clamp on this for the vent and then that will slide off you know kind of out this you know spot in here um and i happen to look inside and on this here that drops into the top of the tank inside there's like a cage too close sorry there's like a cage, like three fingers, four fingers, whatever it is, inside, and it held, held like a ball, like a little air filled, like a ping pong ball kind of thing. So my understanding would be is that kind of keeps it from sloshing out. So if it hits it up against the side, it pushes against it to stop from kind of forcing up here. But because this is at such a flat angle, it might come out. So what I'm doing, what I've decided to do, is I'm going to replace these bolts and drop this down. So this bracket on the uh, gas tank itself used to be flush against here with the bolts. I bought new bolts, same thread, it was 3A16, and I added an uh, inch and a quarter, inch and a half to it. There were about one inch bolts before, I went two and a half. So what I'm doing is trying to drop this down or put these spacers in without totally dropping it. So what I've done, there's eight of them all the way across, two on each, you know, two across but four on each side so I took the end ones out here and further down over here I did this washer in the bolt stuck it in just kind of got to where it's up to the top of this or you know just under that snug those up not snug but got them to that point so they were loose and then I took the four middle ones out here I took those out and it dropped with the weight on here. So now what I'm gonna do is go back into here and put some spacers I made. This little square tubing I had, it just it's all I had on hand. And just having three, seven fits in there just fine. So I've got, I made eight of these, exact same size. Throw some extra washers in there with the new bolts. Just uh, Home Depot specials. They should be fine. I meant to grab Loctite, but I didn't. So what I can do is I'll come back. I won't snug these totally up. I'll get these installed and then just uh, come back and back them off, put it on there and screw them back in. It should be fine. So that is what we're gonna do. We're gonna get a space. So what that's gonna do is gonna give me a little more drop to come in because it comes in so flat to flow in. Now it's gonna come in and kind of drop a little bit better. So I'm hoping it will flow in better oh but back to this uh the ball in here it was stuck so my assumption is that the since we didn't use it that much um, especially during the summer here um, it gets so hot that uh, ball and the gas kind of like lacquered up a little bit or got sticky and it stuck to the top and didn't push out it should have pushed out with the force of the gas but it didn't so when i took this thing off and slid it out of the way i could look up through you know when i took this out I could look all the way through and into that tube and saw that it was there and kind of stuck and I went to push on it and it you know, gave me quite a bit of resistance so I pushed it and popped it. So um, hopefully that cured that. So 
my advice is definitely use stable, which I normally do, but I knew we were gonna be using it at that time and I didn't, and we pumped it out. Didn't go back and do it, but uh, every time I put fuel in it now, I put stable in it for the amount. Um, and then also back to the original, when I complained about it to the uh, dealership where we got it, they told me I must have overfilled it because it filled up the uh, EVAP canister, supposedly. Um, it's a 30 gallon tank. They say not to go more than I think 90% or no more than like 27 or 28 gallons, which um, nobody ever tells you that. There's no paper says that anywhere. So I know that now. So now I'll probably run 25 to 27 gallons in it from start, but there's no way to really know. I mean, it's got a gauge on it, but it's not the most accurate thing in the world. So, but what I'm gonna do, sorry for the flopping around, I'm trying to move around. This is going to be kind of the setup. The new bolt washer, the original bracket, spacer I got, you know, washer, spacer, another washer. Then I'll snug it up into there. So I'm going to get these all kind of in place and snug a little bit. Um, and then I will come back and add in some Loctite to those. I don't think they'll go anywhere, but I may actually come back and change those out to a lock washer. Um, I didn't have any with me, but uh, that's what I've got. So that is that. Uh, we'll look at it again in a little while. All right, it's all done. So you can see how much it lowered it down. Not a whole lot, just enough, hopefully, to give us a little bit more of a downhill angle to fill it up and be uh, a little more easier to fill. It doesn't affect anything because actually my toilet tube hangs down below that I mean hell I could probably go I've got space on those bolts if I needed to I could probably add another quarter of an inch maybe almost a half an inch to those spacers to get even lower if it turns out I need it um, but uh, so we're gonna go from there and see uh, any questions let me know in the comments any questions maybe what I used where I got it what I did if you had any more of the questions I know this is kind of a quick video um, so let me know in the comments. I'd appreciate it. Thank you. Turn sideways. You got it on? Are you recording or are you just take a picture? Okay. Wait and fill it. And it's on full. So you could do that before. Oh yeah. That worked. And part of two is that ball that was sticking in there. Yeah. Like a anti flow valve or something there. It's never taken it this fast. Even brand new, it didn't do this. So hopefully, that moving that ball and then dropping a little bit should help. But I'm going to put about 22, 24 gallons in it. I got a couple gallons in it. So that should fix it. So if your tank's not filling up good, give that a try. It'll show a shadow bit. Just a Thing, ticking away. Just going in full trigger. It's never done that before.